So in today's video, we're going to make this vector sphere design, but with the techniques you will learn in the tutorial, you can make many different 3D designs pretty easily. If you want a four week course that takes you through an introduction into design, right the way through to setting up your first project, all while having a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with a seasoned professional, stay tuned to the very end of today's video and learn more about the brand new course by Springboard. So the first thing we need to do today is to press L for the ellipse tool and then hold down shift while clicking and dragging to make a circle. Now go ahead and press C for the scissors tool and then make two cuts at the very top and also at the very bottom. Now you can remove and delete one half of the circle, but keep the other because we are gonna use that later. So we now need to make a pattern for our design and this is going to be converted into a symbol. Your symbol doesn't need a background, but for my design, I'm actually going to use one and I'm gonna use a white rectangle. You do, however, want to have your symbol in a kind of rectangle format, and you'll soon see why later in the video. So like I said at the start, this technique and this process can be used for any kind of design or style, but I'm going for a circular design on a sphere for my project today. And so for that, I'm going to make a very small circle and then a larger circle, both touching the edges of my rectangle. Also, they are perfectly level and my magenta smart guides are showing me this in real time, as you can see here. I then want to make a blend, and so I'm going to press W, which is the blend tool, and then simply click both circles. Now for this design, I want a specified steps blend, so you can hold down the Alt Option key and then click your blend to access the settings panel. Finally, I'm going to hold down the Alt Option key again and click and drag to duplicate the blend downwards and then press Command or Control D to repeat the process until the entire rectangle is filled up. So this was the first step of the process and it's pretty much complete. We just now need to select our design and then head into the Symbols panel. So this is where we're going to make our symbol and we just need to drag and drop it into the window like so. Now let's head into a phase number two and to go back to that semicircle we made earlier. Come up to Effect, 3D and then go to Revolve. Now what Revolve does is essentially takes your line and it creates duplicates around a point. And so you can imagine this semicircle line being duplicated and revolved around and around and around. It will make this shape here, but if we choose the right edge option, it's going to make a sphere. So the magic in today's video occurs when we click the map art button and then locate our recently made symbol. Now I haven't been able to find a way to scale the symbol with constrained proportions because you can actually distort it very easily. So try and be careful when you're scaling the symbol and it will take some time to maneuver into position and until you're happy with your design. And again, you can make a number of symbols and of course, many different kind of styles of shapes. The possibilities are almost limitless. So the invisible geometry option is a good choice for my design because I just want to see the white and the orange. Okay, so great. I have my design, but what if I just want the circles? How do I remove the whites and also make sure my design is a vector? There are various different ways to do this, but a quick way is to select your design and then head into the Pathfinder window. Use the Divide option and then ungroup your design. You can then select a white area and then use the Select Same function and then just delete everything. And sponsoring today's video is Springboard, 
which are giving you the chance to enroll in a course where you can actually pursue your design career. And you can learn directly from professionals on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Now, if you want to really grasp the design industry from the basics of UI and UX design, to things like sketching techniques, tips, the mindset that you need to have to succeed, and much, much more, this course can deliver all of that across a four week period. The details on each unit can be found here, as well as other information about the support team and also the expert mentor that you will be given during the four week course. So click the link below to enroll now because spots are filling up pretty quickly. Like and share my videos on social media, and of course until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.